The process, I think, is the most exciting part of clay. And there's certain stages, and all of it's timed out. So there's some parts of clay that you can't work with until it's ready for you to work with it. And that's different than most mediums. Being able to open up that kiln for the first time and see, you know, did it explode? What kind of colors did the glaze create? So I think it's a lot more exciting and I find the process of actually creating something with your hands that can later be used for functional stuff um, is why I'm drawn to it. I'm really into horse hair right now and doing sort of Midwestern pottery. In the clay world, there's two different types of art. There's function and then there's sculpture. And when I make a piece, I try to keep that in mind as I start. So is this something that I want someone to be able to eat off of? Is it something that I want to hang? Is it just to look nice? My favorite style to work with is functional. And I really like being able to have your everyday person say, wow, that's great. I would love to use that. It'd look perfect on my table. Um, I'm drawn to vases and vessels more than anything else. And I like teapots and a lot of times I'll take those ideas and make them completely unfunctional. So I do a series of teapots where I actually make them you know, with holes or some sort of design where you really can't use them, but they still reference it enough that people will understand that it's a teapot sculpture. I really am interested in what the purpose behind an object is and what kind of secrets it might hold or what can move, what can come out of it. So the idea of having the vessels, I think is exciting because it could really hold anything and it changes depending on who buys the piece or who it's made for. So I think it's very interesting to work with that form, the vessel. Okay, the gas on. It's a really long process and it's very hard to master because so many elements work into it. So even things like the temperature change, how much moisture is in the room, if your piece is thin or it's thick, if two pieces aren't matching the same thickness they'll crack, or if you don't slip and score it falls off. So there's so many things that go wrong and that's why it can be so frustrating. But at the same time when it all lines up and it comes out great, that's the feeling that I look for and I don't think a lot of the other Arts can give you that same feeling that I really got this down. I got all of this in exactly where it was supposed to go. So I think that's why I, I mainly work in this. What I enjoy about working with clay is really everything. The whole process behind it, getting your hands dirty, being able to take something that a normal person would just look at as nothing more than dirt or something that's in the ground. And what I love about clay is it can take the shape of everything and anything really sky's the limit. It's if you have the technique and you have the inspiration to do it. And I love the, that it has the ability to create something out of nothing, really. And I've always been drawn to 3D and I just love the interaction where you have to go around it to view it, where you can hold it, where it's tangible. Um, there's always that element of this could break, this could, something could go wrong, and I think that keeps the viewer a little on edge. I really like architecture, and a lot of the elements that I've seen in European architecture I try to pull into my work. And just being exposed to all that really changes your mindset and how you view different types of art. So in my work a lot, I try to take what I have in my regular everyday life and then mix it up with things that are foreign to my viewer that I've experienced while I was abroad. What inspires me is everything that's around me and I find ceramics very relaxing. When I throw, I try to sort of clear everything out of my mind and just pull what I want out of it and usually it'll be a design that I've been thinking about for a while and they come from all sorts of places so I can look into my everyday environment and decide that I want to do you know wings like a bird that I saw and I'll add wings onto a vessel and I'll have it planned out 
and then I'll just clear everything out and say, today I'm gonna make a winged bass. And I'll sit down and go through all the steps. And it's very therapeutic in the way that I work, and that's one of the reasons I enjoy it so much. And it's hard to say where all the ideas come from because a lot of times it's just, they're there. And I think that's just part of being creative and being able to bring ideas together even though you might not necessarily know where they come from. And I think it's, a lot of people's minds work this way, it's just not able to translate into something. And that's why I like having this outlet where I can then take those ideas and do something with them.